What's up, everybody? Welcome back to part six of this Child of Light Let's Play. In the last episode, I believe we faced off with a few man bear pigs, and so let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. Uh, moving on, go up here. We got ourselves some sort of temple, some sort of Masonic temple. Leonardo da Vinci would be impressed with this place. Some sort of light based puzzle again. So we got the spigot. And this guy. Okay, puzzle's confusing. Oh, never mind. I found it by accident, guys. I'm not gonna lie. That was not me being intelligent. I found that by luck. It's down here. chests. Okay. For a second I didn't see the chest and I thought this is just a dead end. Anything else left? No? Okay. Ooh, one more thing down here. In we go. In a dark cavern. What's up here? Two more chests. Self in danger instead of just having a Nicholas go do it for me. Or Ginny. Fire wolf! Or fire porcupine hyena. We got this fight. And man bear pig as well. We'll do. We'll do fire. Vulnerable to fire. Good to know. Man bear pigs do not like flames. Aye, it's a pleasure to meet you, old man of stone. Terrible accent. I'm terrible at that. I see there's cracks between your joints. I don't know why I keep doing it. I feel compelled to do it. I hope you don't take this hard. But could I plant just a couple sprigs of mint at key points? He did not like that. They don't get along. Ooh, spider guy. Get out of my way. Uh, that's not... Okay. We got down here. Can't catch me. What is it? What do they call these? I don't know what they call these. Some sort of winged, menacing gargoyle looking thing. Gargoyle. We know how to deal with this guy, so we'll block him for now. I didn't think we'd get that off in time. Stand of him though. So it seems like it's not that difficult to level everybody up pretty quickly. It seems like every match, or every fight, somebody's getting a level. Just, man, okay, maybe not every fight, but most fight. Most fight. Got the hiccup. Giant head. 
It's, just, it's like every giant monster movie we've ever seen. The Statue of Liberty's head just gets thrown down into the into the water. Oh, a bird that can actually talk. Oh, God. Oh, no, it can they be. Avo, speak to me. That's, I'll, I think I'm going to stop with the accent because I'm terrible at it. Who are we kidding? I'm never going to stop. I'm side myself. Why would anybody carry mint? If I think I didn't, uh, you probably yeah okay. You probably didn't hear me say anything there, but I was doing the accent. I just didn't hold the mic down for it. What's this? That was magic stardust. We will use those instead. The point I think is to make Aurora as powerful as any other character, so that she can never die. That's my goal anyway. And while we're here, we might as well heal up. Okay, that's good. I keep screwing that up. Oh, piece of paper. Or, I keep calling them pieces of paper, but they're confessions. It's this one. Okay, pause the video if you want to read it. We're good. Another man bear pig. Get the drop on him. Got a trifecta going on here. We can handle it though. Uh, we'll do Starlight against this fella. And Monsoon against this one, so we'll slow him. I should finish off the fire hyena. And then, if we get lucky, we can interrupt him enough to... Nope, we didn't get lucky. We're just gonna defend. That way we can finish him off in this round. Or perhaps not. The lightning strike is strong against them. This should be the end here. We did it. Uh, not without a little bit of health loss, but we did it. Which is negated because they both leveled up. Or everybody leveled up. Oh, he gains one less stat per level than anybody else does. Uh, what's up here? Oh, we already went up there. Got some shaking. Something menacing is coming. Something menacing this way comes. The well was poison. Maybe that's why all the birds were drunk. And we got a boss fight. With a hydra of sorts. And it's okay. I wonder if it's... I think that back one is dark. So we'll do Starlight on... Crap. I guess we'll do Starlight on this one. We're gonna keep...
keep this one going slow. Okay, now things should be a lot easier. Dodged it, sucker. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are actually kind of tough. Smash, maybe this will finish it off. Nope. Got a ways to go still. You can clear this guy's juice back. This guy's groove back. Could be enough to finish it off. Yes. Now we've got this in the bag. Get some of his juice back again. One of these better get an interrupt. Okay. And that's that. We just took out three giant wiggly snakeheads. Each with different elemental properties. We better have leveled up after that. Bella didn't get a level. Sometimes this game just looks really good. That scene right there was pretty good looking. Pretty nice, impressive, and uh, I don't like saying words like pretty, but it looks pretty. And we cured the well, or we, we cured the townspeople of the poisoned well. What a curious basin. It shows, it shows you what heart is craving. Okay, I take that back. It shows you what heart is craving. What your heart is craving. Your grace. So her father is sick. That's what I'm getting from it. Father, did you see the sun and the moon? Make your magic again, quick. It only works once. I'm going to be sick. What's going on now? We're getting out of the well. Yep, that's what happened. Are no oh, so the townspeople weren't birds at all. They were a bunch of dwarves. A bunch of hobbits. That guy still kind of looks like a bird on the left there. I'm still curious what faux means, if that's even what how you're supposed to pronounce that, because like faux, like a faux pas or a, a faux hawk, which means fake or pseudo. Maybe it's like a pseudo crown, or maybe I'm overthinking it. Wasn't she told to never take the crown off? Uh, thank you on behalf of my people, Aurora. We were afraid to never see you again. 
the, the soft green hills of Lemuria. Oh, I read that wrong. I wish I could be happy. My heart is cold and frost. I fear that for my father all hope has been lost. The lady's flute. Let's see what it will do. Fingers crossed. The rhymes. They just get better with time. I apologize that the music is a little bit lower. I didn't want it to cut over the audio. If there's a way I could have turned it up on the fly, I would have done that. Nothing changed at all, not even the weather. Yet somehow I feel a little better. Action completed, Capilli catch. Hey girl who flew, over here. Well, let's see if there's anybody else before we talk to that guy. So we can just talk to everybody. Okay, the queen, a uh, knight, the nurk. Uh, he's looking for some herb. What a bitch. Go on here. It's locked. Never mind. Wait, is her husband this guy? Because he's not saying a word. And yeah, what the hell is that thing? Some sort of caterpillar cat beaver thing. We're going to call him a cat peaver. Or a peaver cat. That's what he is. He's a peaver cat. Um, pitchfork guy. Still some crows. This guy in the foreground. Uh, can we go in here? Yes, we can. So this was a school, which it sort of already looked like, but uh, now it's actually filled with people capable of learning. That was a rhyme that they had to grapple with to achieve. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. That was just terrible. Bungary. So hungry. Oh. How the hell did they come up with 200 pages of this shit? Which isn't to say it's bad. I'm, that, that, that makes it sound like I don't appreciate the rhyming. It's it's nice for this kind of game. What's going on in here? We got a lady smoking a pipe like a boss. We've got Pigtails McGee and the town harlot. And if she's not the town harlot, she's a harlot in my heart. I think they're all harlots, actually. Women of the night. Okay. She has a strange cousin. Strange, strange cousin. I like this chick up front, the one smoking the pipe. I, you know, <laughs> she's got character. They all have these dangly lights off their heads. I'm not sure what that's about. Are they miners? Are they just like dwarves in every other story where they're all always miners? Somebody messaged me, I think. Um, okay, I think I'm going to cut the video off here. I'm going to go inside here. And cut it off. 
Alright guys, I think that's all she wrote for part 6 of this Let's Play. In future episodes, I think we will make it a goal of ours to always end the episode in a tavern full of pipe-smoking wenches. So yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. I think we're going to call her Lagertha.